regardless of what you guys thought about the Cup Series race at Las Vegas, I'm going to at least give it that we learned something. I saw, no, I know people, again, Crystal and Dave told you they were going to be there, and I got a text most of the way through and went, this race is really boring because there wasn't a lot you know, of racing action through it. There was racing action. I'm not saying there wasn't any, but, you know, and I'm not talking about Rex. I'm just saying, you know, people were making passes, but there was a lot of, you know, Follow the leader, and once someone got up front, you couldn't touch them. So I didn't find that to be a very exciting race, and hopefully, you know, this isn't what the mile and a half has to give us this year, that package. Only time will tell. could just be because it was at Las Vegas, and if you're watching this, I don't know what the hell is going on. It just worked perfectly fine for a while. Let's try to get through it, shall we? Uh, there are some things I expected to see. There are some things I didn't expect to see from some manufacturers throughout you know, the race, obviously, you know, and there were some, you know, shockers, some things that I've been complaining about that got disproven, which is good. But to the race, Joey Logano on pole didn't surprise me. Look at his history at the track. Should surprise no one. But William Byron, he got up there early. He dominated. He dominated the whole race. Won stage one and two. The first time his career sweeping the stages in a race. We all know he goes on, you know, went on to win by this point. He got the thing because we overtime, one for overtime, Larson had it. It was one of those things. You know, it sucked. It sucks to be the leader in that situation. When you have that big of a lead, you're coming and that happens, two to go. You know, it sucks, but good day for Hendrick. Uh, took us till stage three to get a caution for anything besides stage end. And it was for Logano coming out of that three wide as he went across the grass. And, you know, again, three wide Vegas. Someone's losing, and it just happened to be Joey Logano in this situation. But he didn't look as fast. You know, he got the pole, but they easily, you know, they got by him easily. And the Fords just seemed off all day. But, you know, back to Logano, first DNF, I think he's 19 or 20 races there. This is the first time he didn't finish, which is just scary. And it brings up a, an issue that. I have with the damage vehicle clock in, you know, the cup series there and all that, like they put that in there for, you know, cause they didn't want pieces of car flying off cause people just duct tape everything back together and, you know, pray for the best. And then a bunch of, you know, cautions for debris and stuff. Like if it's something like mechanical, like a tow link, let them go there, let them fix it, let them keep going. Cause there's not going to be anything flying off cause it's a mechanical part. If it was to stop debris cautions from happening, what the hell does a tow link have to do with any of that garbage, nonsense, bullshit, whatever you want to call it? I don't like to see him go out because if he just had one more minute, they would have been able, you know, the minute or two, go there. He's laps and laps and laps down, but it would have been done. Would have been fixed. There wouldn't have been anything on the track. Wouldn't have to worry about anything. So I think that is kind of dumb, and hopefully they fix it. I mean, they moved it from five minutes to seven minutes, but a tow link, I mean, give him 10 minutes to get it done. See you later, bye. I think it's egregiously stupid to have that clock only there, especially as I said, was to keep you know cars from just taping stuff up and having pieces of debris everywhere because they could fix something mechanical and just keep moving. That's some bullshit, but uh, I'm going to roll into the wall four to go, send us into OT. If I said two earlier, sorry, what I knew was right there at the end, I would have been unhappy, but William Byron got it. Kyle Larson was second. Alex Bowman third. Bubba Wallace fourth. Chris Rubel fifth. Austin Sindrick sixth. Martin Drex Jr. seventh. Justin Haley eighth. Kevin Harvick ninth. And Daniel Suarez tenth. Hendrick Motorsports swept the top three. Um, you know, didn't surprise me. The Chevys have looked good this year. And the way they ran at Vegas last year, you know, well, where they finished, it also didn't surprise me. They just looked good this year. You know, the Chevys have. So that one didn't surprise me. Uh, Toyota, though, did surprise me. Finally, they looked a lot better. Three in the top seven, five in the top 15. Good for them. And I want to say Brad Kozlowski ran better than his finish. He just tried to run, you know, a cycle out and hope for a caution to catch a bunch of people lap down. He didn't. So the time he lost, by the time he got out there, he finished, you know, worse than he ran all day. And the way, you know, RFK looks this year, it can't go without saying. But where, where they were at the beginning of last year, like for a lot of it, like he looked terrible. So big things, they're doing better, but Ford looked bad all day minus a few people. So, you know, it is what it is. I didn't, you know, expect that one because, you know, the gone on them are normally good there and they just didn't have it. But 
On to the Toyotas. Bubba Wallace finished best for them in fourth. Good run for him, even when he said it was garbage. You know, apparently he's like Kyle Bush. Well, it's garbage, even though you're running in fourth. You know, it's just some things that happen, but he did, you know, stick with it and finished fourth. Best of them. Christopher Bell, fifth. Martin Truex Jr., seventh. Denny Hamlin, 11th. Tyler Reddick finished 15th, even after he tried to knock the goddamn wall down all day. He hit the thing repeatedly and just kept going. He didn't, you know, change anything. So kudos to him. And then Ty Gibbs was worst in 22nd. For the forwards, Austin Hind- Sindrick was sixth. Kevin Harvick was ninth. Otherwise, they did not really perform you know Kozlowski was up there but in the end of it all there was that and Cedric wasn't even like up there the whole time so good job on them to get up there but you don't only have two in there I expected more out of them this weekend you know whatever it is but Corey LaJoy finished 20th continued to run top 20s Ty Dillon finished 34th and the only person that Ty Dillon actually outran was Cody Ware because Logano you know that wreck was that, and I still say every time, how the hell is his teammate finishing 20th and he's back there beating like one person 34th? He shouldn't have a ride. I told Bubby he needed to grow up. That's my biggest complaint with him. Ty Dillon shouldn't be here. There's people that much more deserve that ride, but they don't have a Mike or Richard. I'll keep getting them rides because people, you know, teams need support and Richard supports them. And so Ty gets a ride. He shouldn't be there. He sucks. And I'm going to say that every single time until he gets better, which he won't. Uh, yeah, but boring race overall, uh, regardless of the cautions. I'm not you know, one of the guys looking for wrecks. It was just a lot of boring racing. I mean, the restarts are good and people are close, but then there was a lot of follow the leader, which I know happens, but it happens so quick. We even saw it at the late restart, but he got there and he was just gone. Like, That's not what people want to see. And I know people are there, Crystal and Dave and the kids were there. That wasn't, you know, the greatest thing ever. So, you know, there's a lot of grooves. There's a lot of stuff. But when they all get, you know, for the most part, they're all single file. And no one wants to see that, which does not help anything. So hopefully the rest of the mile and a half look better again was the first one. This wasn't that impressed. There wasn't a lot, you know. Talk about a lot of highlights. So hopefully Phoenix is better. Definitely should be. And they did some, you know, changes to it for downforce. Hopefully that makes everything better, but a bad first showing, in my opinion, for the first mile and a half race with that package. But thank you for watching. Don't forget YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, Good Pods, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, Audible, YouTube, Rumble, all that. Don't forget you can support it, the show on Anchor because they took ads away. That would help immensely to get just something coming in to help pay for the show and get more stuff. But I appreciate you all share the hell out of this. And until we meet again, I'm out. Bye. Thanks.